Yo, what's up, dudes? I am here at Toman Gearhead University in Treppendorf, <laughs> Germany. <laughs> uh, and I'm here with my good friend, Richard Morgan. Hello. Thank you for joining me. A pleasure. And uh, we are here to talk about um, Hughes and Kettner amps, which I discovered last fall at another event. Mm -hmm. And you were so generous with your advice and help on that. And uh, you had me check out a Grandmeister 40, mm -hmm. Deluxe 40, which I think is what that amp is, is right there. Amp just exactly. amp right yep. there. And uh, we've sort of stayed in touch from them. But uh, what I wanted to know is I don't know a lot about Hughes and Kettner. Why don't we start a little bit about the company and then we'll get into this amp if you could. Okay. Well, so, well, so how long has Hughes and Kettner been around? I, you know, I think they came on my radar maybe five years ago. Okay. And, uh, you know, or maybe six years ago, was that a change to this LED? Was it the LED change exactly, at yeah. the time? And about, that's what, you know? Yeah, about five or six years ago, which is before my time, okay. I should say, um, we came out with the first Tube Meisters, the 18 and the 36, which you will, of course, know. Okay. They were the first of our lunchbox amps and the first that kind of glowed blue in this sort of a way. Sure. And that kind of, that really exploded then. And the Tube Meister 18 was the top selling tube head in the States for quite a while. Okay. I think. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. But the history of the company goes back quite a lot further than that. Yeah. I yeah. was going to say, it seems like it's a company that's been around for a very long time. Yeah. It's just that my awareness of them has been heightened, I'd say, within the last five or six years due to their popularity, um, you know, in the, I don't want to say the... Uh, you know the not the metal market it's really just like the guitar market because it's so wide open i see people yeah. using it for funk stuff and yeah. for rock stuff and for you know all kinds of different genres although it does get i mean you can get you know a fairly metal sound out of the you know out of the amp yeah um uh it's it's a really versatile amp i don't know if i had mentioned this uh or if you've known about this, but I actually have this exact amp in my house, uh, and I've been going through it for, geez, seems like six months now. And uh, <laughs> the, uh, it's an amazing, it's an amazing product. And now, how long has this particular model been out? The Grandmeister Deluxe 40 has been out for almost a couple of years. A okay. year and a half. Oh, a year and a half. 2016 it came out, and uh, NAM 2017 was like the debut, where okay. everyone saw it for the first time. Okay. And you saw it then in fall of 2017. So right, pretty right. New so pretty yeah. new, relatively new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the newest one. There may or may not be something new coming later on in 2018, which we which we can't show you now. But that's just a hint that if we happen to do an event together later in the year, we might or might not do something together that might <laughs> or might not be rather cool. Cool. Moving on, though. Yeah. To yeah. answer some of the questions that you posed then. So the Grandmeister is, like you say, it, it does do everything from kind of a, a 50s kind of totally pristine clean sound right. all the way through to kind of your 80s. Van Halen inspired rock tones that you so love. I do love and those And everything through to modern kind of, you know, stuff for, for the progressive metal guys, the Gentas, stuff like that. Right, right, right. All right. But so the tone, the tone I have going on it right now, I believe we're set to the lead channel. Mm -hmm. And the, the tone we have going right now... <laughs> I hope you're having a blast. <laughs> Bye, guys. I, I need to be annoying in some videos. Apparently. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. There we go. That's a, Was that the first canning break-in of TGU-18? We could switch to... Uh, you want to just work our way uh, from yeah. clean to mean? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can get a close up of the amp head. Oh, yeah. On the cameras just Yeah, here. sure. I'm just going to go. Wait, I'm just going to. Let me do it right this, now. Ready? This chicken head selector switch <laughs> by the magic of your fingers in midair. Here we go, just over here. I've switched it to the clean channel. Okay. It is indeed clean. say I can't talk when you're playing can I? Yeah no Sorry, I no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we don't have a foot switch with us. 
And as you know, having owned the Grandmaster now for about three or four months, you need a foot switch to, to make the most of it. There's to make the most modes. of it. I, I will say yeah. you don't need a foot switch to run the amp, but to make the maximize that amp, the foot switch should be purchased. Yeah, the foot switch has two modes, stomp box mode and preset mode. And kind of the main idea behind the amp is to use the presets. You can make up to 128 different sounds at different volumes with different effects right. and save the settings of all the knobs. Right. When you don't have a foot switch connected, you're effectively in the stomp box mode, which is basically kind of controlling the controls on the amp as you see them. You've got okay. the four different channels and effectively a setting for each channel. So if we close back up on the amp front panel again, by the magic of YouTube editing, we can see across here, we've got our master section. The master volume here, which is the only knob which is not storable, presence and resonance controls. Across here we've got a reverb, which is also global when you don't have a foot switch plugged in. Okay. Then you've got your EQ, and then you've got your volume for this selected preset, and the amount of gain. That's it. Okay. Except it's not. Ooh. Because we've got this effects access mode button right here, which if I press, will light up like that. And then this selection of knobs here goes up to control the effects parameters. Okay. So over here we've got the delay level feedback and the, the time. We've also got the modulation type, chorus, phaser, flanger, tremolo, and the intensity of it. So there are essentially multifunction knobs. You just have to enable the alternate function. Exactly, yeah. But there's another way to control it. I can actually control it using my iPad. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is can. amazing. Uh, and I don't even have like the latest <laughs> iPad and it still yeah. works just fine. Yeah. It's a very simple iPad that we've got. It's like a, a bonus option, the app. Um, we did do a little video, didn't we, at the NAMM show this year. If you head over to our YouTube channel, nice little plug there, you can yeah. see a video with Steve and with Fluff. Right. Where they talked about the presets that we made at the NAMM show, and we've also got a download of Steve's if you want to get it. It's uh, it's Van Halen in Hughes and Kettner Falls. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. I, I had the Van Halen riffs on that yeah. day. But yeah, basically, <laughs> if you've got this amp and you've got an iPad, what you can basically do is download the official Hughes and Kettner app and then you've got all the controls on the amp itself on one iPad screen. It's all kind of working in connection with the amp itself so you can fire presets from the amp to the iPad and back and back them up and share them around right. and make playlists and preset lists for yourself. You can sure. share them to other people who've got the app and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. it's kind of cool. Should we dial in some effects that you might normally want? On sure, I would almost would always use that? delay. All right, so if we take a look at the, the panel here then, I'm going to press the effects access button here, and now these EQ controls become the delay controls. What I would need to do at this point is kind of find out how much delay is on this setting right now, because every time you change the controls on the amp, it remembers what was there last time, okay? So if I just twist this delay level knob, keep your eyes on the store button there. I don't know if you can see that. If my finger's in the way, oh, how can I turn this without annoying <laughs> you? There, it lit up, and that shows us that there was that much, or should I say that little delay on, it pre on the preset okay. that was previously introduced. So you turn the dial and it lit up to show you what the exactly. setting it has on yeah. it right now. Exactly, yeah. Right, right, give so you a little feedback. Exactly, yeah, so I'm going to turn the delay up a bit. Let's turn the feedback up a little bit as well and the delay time. Just play with it, Let's find what you like. Bit more, bit less. Bit more. Nice. A nice, simple yeah. digital delay, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Perfectly functional. And I mean, like I said as well, if you've got the foot switch plugged in, you've got access to tap tempo and stuff like that, so you can do a bit more with it. And if you need to, you know, if you're playing live and you want to tap to get it in sync with the song you're doing, you can do that. I'll flick the chicken head <laughs> selector switch across the crunch. All right. Let's see what we got. There we go. It's 
sounds remarkably like the prior one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And just a little bit more bite on the gain, and that's about it. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, uh, not not the tone. It's got more bite on the tone for yeah. sure. Yeah. But I'm talking about the delay. The yeah. delay was very much like the delay yeah. we had just set up. Yeah. That's a big sound. Let's let's dial it up one more. Are you prepared for the lead sound? I'm not sure that I am. <laughs> let's do it anyway. All right, ready? And we don't know what the effects are going to be, right? Because we we're manually changing it, right? Yeah, well, flick it to lead. Right. Just to make sure. That is, that is my sound. That's your sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of is my sound. <laughs> I could get used to that. Are you ready for the ultra challenge? I don't know. Are we? <laughs> that last one, the, they have each been getting more and more impressively gainful. That's the idea. Right, yeah. right. So here we go. Are we ready for the ultra, the ultimate ultra? I'm gonna flick the switch. Here we go. Let's flick see. the switch. There it is. It's just not loud enough to get that final, you know. That's ultra good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked yeah. it. I liked it. And it worked for you. It's a modern sound, but it sounded great. It's a modern sound. It's a heavy tone. It's not for everyone, but I like it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It was my pleasure. It's uh, you know, it, I always like to talk using Kettner when I can. <laughs> you know. Well, there you have it, guys. My first video of TGU eighteen, and I had to make it with Hughes and Kettner. And uh, we're, in we're in a total bromance right now. And uh, <laughs> so uh, there you have it. I hope uh, this was instructive. And uh, I'll have more stuff on my channel about Hughes and Kettner in the coming months. I hope you check that out. Please check out Hughes and Kettner on the web. Uh, applicable links will be in the description. And um, as always, See you rock later. on. Mm.